What's up guys, it's Eventon here. So I wanted to make this video very quickly. Uh, it was very spur of the moment and spontaneous because right now, um, I call it Bay, but right now basically Bay is under attack by the Triglavians. Um, I, the first thing I did was warp to the star because so far if my history serves correct, um, the only systems that can actually fall in security status by the Triglavians are like class G5 yellows or just blue stars. And so based on this, it says a this is a orange and red star. It says it's a class M5. So at least in my mind, what that tells me is that these um, that this system um, is only going to be able to fall to uh, minor victories. So if the Triglavians win, it's a minor victory for them. And then if the Incom wins, it's going to be a minor victory for them, um, which doesn't seem like as big of a deal as Narja because, or sorry, Niarja. Um, because when that system fell, it went to nullsec because of the type of star it had. Um, this is still going to play a um, decent part because it's mainly probably going to affect freighters, maybe um, deep space transports, people that are trying to trying to come through here. But Bay is one of those bottleneck systems that it's basically between um, Do Dixie and Heck and Jita and Heck for the most part. So. Um, if this system got blocked off, and let's say the Triglavians win, and you're pro Edencom, um, it's going to be very difficult for you um, to get through here, and it's going to be a very long way. Um, can you get through it? Maybe send a scout, because ships do tend to jump around, and they're not always on the gate. Um, yes, but it's definitely going to be much more risky. So I wanted to throw this together real quick, because I literally just found out about this a couple minutes ago. I don't know how long the invasion's been going on for. But based on the fact that it's literally perfectly even, um, I'm assuming that this just happened probably a few minutes ago. I'm warping to different sites, and I don't see any fleets being formed up right now. Um, I should probably check local really quick. I mean, there's 20 people in local, so I don't think there's any fleets being formed up right now. But I did find out about this because of um, the Haulers channel. A couple of people were kind of mentioning it. Um, so it's... It's going to be another one of those systems. It's not going to be as bad as Niarja, so you can still take ships through here. You can still fly through here most of the time, depending on which, which side you're on. But it's definitely going to be much more difficult for ships like freighters um, and sometimes even uh, deep space transports, depending on how good you are uh, with your cloak for the most part. So This character right now is just aligned with uh, the Triglavians, because like I said before in my other video, I'm aligned with them. Uh, just because I've noticed they tend to camp the gates much harder than Edencom. Edencom fleets tend to, to warp around between station to station um, and different like celestial sites. But for whatever reason, Triglavians just love to camp the gates much harder. Um, they tend to have more turrets. I'm not sure about that part, but I definitely know that the, at least in my personal experience, they definitely tend to have more people camping the gates. So wanted to bring this to your attention. I was going to post the video. Um, I... I don't think there's going to be much activity in this system um, because it's not going to be going falling to null sec and it's not going to be a complete cutoff of trade routes. Um, if anything, it's probably mostly just going to affect freighters. And even then, if you do send a scout or maybe like a, an alt web or whatever it is, you can probably still get through bay. But um, I'm going to show you here how the route changes if you were just to stick with um, a high sec route and you were coming from uh, Dodixi and Jita trying to get to heck. Oh, and I actually didn't check the gate, but as you can tell, this is already clearly catching a lot of players uh, off guard. As you can see here, there's already a handful of wrecks um, at this gate, and I'm assuming this happened really recently, so I must have caught this within the first like 10 minutes or so uh, of Bay being basically being under attack. So uh, again, I'm going to head over to Dodixie right now just so you guys can see the paths between Dodixie and Heck if this were to get taken over. Um, to be honest, I don't think this would... Um, change a lot of the like landscape of transportation but it will cause a slight hiccup especially when it comes to uh, freighter haulers and possibly deep space transports so we'll go ahead and take a look at it here okay so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this real quick uh, I'll be honest I did not head back to Dodixie because I actually managed to just uh, randomly loot uh, about 77 million worth of stuff on the gate there was an industrial ship that was carrying a lot of these uh, smaller ships so i was like yeah i'll just take them and dock up here in bay so i'm chilling right now i'm on suspect timer so i'm just waiting for that to to go off but hey like looting some of these trick labian systems are paying out pretty darn well so um looking here so i just mapped out really quickly uh that i was heading to dodixie then i was going to head back to um 
Heck, so this is Dodic Dodixie and this is Heck. But let's see what happens if we actually avoid this system, which should be fine. So this is basically us heading back to Dodixie. And this is us. And actually, I need to check this and just keep it as all high sec. It says high sec where possible. So does that mean we would have to go through Niarja if you're trying to keep it all high sec? Well, what happens if we turn this off as well? I'm curious. Yeah. And it's still, so basically, if Bay gets taken over, it seems like, because the settings I have set up where it says you have to, it has to stay in high sec, it says where possible. But so far, every single route it's taken me when we try to avoid some of the most dangerous systems, it's still taken us at least a jump through low sec. Or sorry, yeah, at least a jump through lower null sec. So if Bay gets taken over, there is no way for someone to go from Dodixie to heck and keep it all high sec. You know, you're, you're going to have to go through this system, um, even though it's only going to be a minor victory. So it's not going to be null sec. It's not going to be incessantly camped by PvP players. Um, there, it might be camped by players um, waiting for you to die and just loot your wreck, but I don't think they're going to actively attack you. So what happens if we do the same and we start up in Jita heading here? I, I have a feeling it's just going to be the same story. Yeah, and as you can see here, I just set it up here real quick. It's the exact same thing. So if we're starting from Jita and we're going to heck, um, and we're flying a freighter, you, you can't go through here through the system. I mean, it's going to take you, according to this, 67 jumps if you're in a freighter. So, um, like I said here, to be honest, if what, if Edencom wins, all the Pro Troglavian freighters are going to have a hard time getting through there. Um, although it's going to be a bit easier, but as long as you usually have like a scout, or even if you get out of your freighter, the jump before, go through, make sure the gate is clear, whatever it is, you might be fine. Um, it's not as bad as a major victory or a final luminality, but... Um, yeah, so I just want to bring it to your guys' attention. I have a feeling this just happened less than 30 minutes ago, so I just want to get that information out there. So any of you guys that are pro Triglavian or pro Edencom, you guys should head out the bay and try and make your influence known. Um, for me personally, I, it, I'm i really indifferent. I think it seems like if you are pro hauler or like pro trade and you know do a lot of hauling, you probably want to side with the Edencom because again, at least in my opinion, it seems like the Triglavian ships do tend to camp the gates really hard, so there's a high, like, higher likelihood of dying. Um, but either way, uh, I have a feeling that this is going to be an Edencom victory. I think there's going to be a bigger push now that Niarja has fallen. There's going to be a bigger push by Edencom players uh, to make a difference and not have the same mistake happen again, even though this is a much smaller system and influence. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Just wanted to throw this out here real quick, uh, let you guys know what's happening. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.